aka Mr. Blue and today I wanted to talk about the comping feature in Ableton Live 11 and um, some creative uses that you could do with it let's go to Ableton um, right here I have a track where I used an acapella and comps different acapellas together and um, I think that's one of the cool features about the new comping feature in Live 11 is it's not just traditional comping that you would get in other DAWs or an, or an old school recording where you're just recording the same track over and over and then you uh, punch in and punch out the best parts to make that one track good. I think uh, Ableton purposefully made it in a way that you can also use it creatively and come up with totally different sounds so yeah let's move into a new track and then we'll try to do this from the from the start so i think first it's important to have an acapella folder filled with just acapellas you start collecting so the first thing to do is find a random acapella it's not important about finding the per perfect one. So once you have an acapella on there, you want to make sure show take lanes is checked. And then you want to insert a lane. I would say insert, you know, three to five. But uh, I think for this, we're not looking for specific words or like we're looking for just interesting sounds that these vocals can produce. In, we're looking for rhythms and textures here. It might be fun to also just, without warping it, transpose it down so that it slows down a little bit. And again, we just find a random spot. All the tweaking and stuff to make it sound on time and all that and in tune can come later. For right now, we have these in the take clean. However, they are not in the actual track. So they're not going to be played even though they're right here. What you have to do is press this button, which you can also do by pressing B on your keyboard. And now you're in the edit mode. See what this sounds like. It might sound horrible. Alright, so now it sounds like some crazy mess. Um, and I think it's important not to get too uh, connected in the details here because you could always change it and the whole point of this to, is to be in a flow state and, and, and to just be like, okay, this sounds cool, this sounds cool, this sounds weird and not, not get too uh, bogged down in the details. Now we're just going to take this and consolidate it. Command J. So this is consolidated now. You got rid of the take lanes. You could just put in more tracks into there and then uh, put those into the take lane as well and make it even weirder but for now i, I kind of like this certain parts of this so we're going to see what we could do with these sounds so from here i'm just going to edit what was comps together Acapellas and stuff into beat mode. One, two, three, four. 
I like this part. This is a cool sound right here. So this is basically a process of uh, comping, consolidating those different acapellas into one track, and then looking into that track for different interesting loops that you found. So it's basically sampling, resampling, resampling, processing with different stuff, and then resampling that. And um, I think the key for getting a rhythm with acapellas especially when you're not timing them. And the whole point of this is not to be bogged down in the initial creative um, part of, of making music. It's not to be bogged down with like, okay, well, first I have to get these acapellas together and put them in the right timing. The whole point of this is to just put some tracks on here and then start making stuff. And then just by putting the tracks on there, you find these interesting loops that actually start giving you ideas. How I'm getting that rhythm sound, you could probably do that with like an LFO tool. Really it's from this beats mode in the warp, the warp feature in Ableton. And then making sure to choose this one on the drop down that's just one arrow pointing that way. Okay, so yeah, with this creative comping and um, with some post processing, you could make some interesting rhythms without having to worry about timing or keys or anything like that. So, yeah, I would say um, really mess around with that feature. Thanks for watching, and here's something I just made really quickly with this, and then, uh, yeah, I'll leave with that.